Hi, welcome to buildmysitefreefree.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and use the Related Posts plugin. And the Related Posts plugin generates a related posts via WordPress tags, and it adds them to the feed. So basically, if you have a lot of posts that have similar categories or similar subjects, every time one of your readers is on one of your specific posts, at the end of that post will be a related post link with posts that are similar to that specific post that they're on. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how to install it and then I'm going to show you how to use it. And for my example, I have a lot of do-it-yourself posts of all activities you can do on your own. So what happens after I set this up, at every after my reader reads one specific do-it-yourself post, when they scroll down to the bottom there will be several links to other posts similar to do-it-yourself. So first, let's install this plugin. So here we are in our navigation menu. What you want to do is open up the plugins link and scroll down to where it says Add New. And this will bring you to the Install Plugins page. And what you want to do next is type in what you see right here. It says WordPress Related Posts. So go ahead and type that in the text box and click Search Plugins. And on your results page, it will be the very, very first plugin that you see. And from here, like you do with all the rest, you're just going to click where it would say Install Now. I already have mine installed, but this is what the link would look like. And once it's installed, it will give you a link right on the Finished Installed page that says Activate Plugin. So you click Activate, and voila, it's done. That's all there is to installing it. But next, what you want to do is change some of your settings so that the related post appears on your blog page. So now that we've added it to our blog and we've activated it, it's going to appear as a link under our settings link on the navigation menu. So here it says related posts. And when you click on that, it will bring you to the related post settings page. So here what you want to do first is type in a title. And what seems most self-explanatory to me is to type in related posts because that is in fact what it is. And then next you need to create a title tag. So when you open up the drop down menu, you have header 2, 3, and 4. I'll just go with, uh, with the P and then you want to type in the maximum number of posts you want displayed so if you want you know three four or five you want something higher or lower than that this will be the amount of related posts that it will show at the bottom of that specific post that you're on and then if you want certain category IDs to be excluded and you don't want them displayed under your related posts you would type in that category ID right in this text box and then another setting you have is to uh, display a few options. You could display the comments count, how many comments have been left on those posts, the publish date, but those really don't really matter if it's really your option if you want them or not. The two ones that you are going to pretty much want is the insert related posts. It automatically inserts it and to just display related posts on the feed. So I went ahead and checked both those options. And then you can also display a post excerpt. So it will give you a short little summary of what that post is. So you can go ahead and click that as well. And the last thing is the no related post settings. So you have an alternate text you can type in if it's not a related post. And then if you want there to be a thumbnail for that related post as well, a little picture image, you can check off this box. And it will uh, give you options to where to go from there. And then finally, when you're done, you're going to want to click Save Changes, or else this isn't going to work on your blog. So now let's show you how it looks. So here we are on one of my do-it-yourself posts. It's about uh, mason jar centerpieces, how to create them for your home, what you need. So when we scroll down, though, now we have a related post link. And it shows us one of the links to how to create a candle mason jar centerpiece. And since we already have this set up with tags and categories under our blog, WordPress automatically recognizes this and will let it appear under our related posts. And this is how you use the related posts plugin. Please stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.